The Focus works with a wide variety of lenses. In this demonstration, I'm going to use this lens, which will need this gear ring. Now, once you've chosen the proper gear ring and installed it, make sure that the ring screw is properly installed to give your lens full range of motion. Now, with the lens ring installed, install your camera and lens onto the Ronin. Next, mount the focus motor on one of the support rods. Loosen the knob and slide the motor down the rods and up against the gear ring. Then make sure the fit is tight. Next, connect the motor to a power source. On the Ronin, you can use this, the PTAP accessory power port. With everything installed and wired up, Balance the Ronin and you are ready to calibrate. Hold down the power button for two seconds to turn on the remote. Then, in the menu system, go to the calibration screen and select Auto Calibrate. How you calibrate your motor will depend on what type of lens you are using. If you're using a film lens, you will have a hard stop at either side of your lens's focal range. If you are using a photo lens, like me, you will notice that there are no hard stops. I can keep turning the lens endlessly when adjusting focus. This means you will need to do manual calibration. Now there are two options for this, manual remote and manual hand. First, I'm going to show you manual remote. To set an upper limit, click manual remote. Then hold down the up button, which will turn the lens. When it reaches the right point, I tap OK. Then I repeat this process with the down button to complete calibration. In manual hand mode, I essentially do the same as manual remote, except I turn the lens by hand and tap OK after I get to my upper and lower limits. Everything is now ready to go, and you can see the lens turning as I turn my hand. Now we'll set up the focus on an Inspire with the Zen Muse X5. 